Oh no, what is this? Back to back uploads? The boy is back. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, man, what's up, guys? You already know who it is, man. And we back in this thing. For this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the characters that I regret upgrading to tier three awaken all that stuff now let me say this quick disclaimer before we get started okay do whatever you want to do okay if it's your favorite character don't hate on me bro just do you enjoy the character but for me as a content creator i build pretty much every character at least i used to before i went free to play because they want me to pay to play and pay to play better than people and i ain't with that fool fool lame shit okay so i build every character for the most part i test them out and some of them after i build them and i do showcases on them i never use them again because some of them are just so garbage i'll throw them into a shadowland stage or i use them as a leadership and the last time you see them feature on the channel is the last time they get used so because of that some of these characters are just not worth investing in long term and some of them are very very expensive so again i'm gonna say this if this is your favorite character bro don't blame me no 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 i didn't develop these characters bro i'm just a man with an opinion and a wallet that's just what it is okay but now my wallet is tucked away so let's talk after these characters get built which ones are actually still worth that initial investment. I'm gonna go from the top here now. I'm gonna leave Venom out of it because he don't have his tier three yet, right? And I'm gonna leave Carnage out of this because Carnage is a future tier three. So we don't know how good he gonna be yet because we don't even know what his skill looks like or what his uniform looks like, you think? So let's, let's talk, let's talk, man, let's talk. From the top, you know we got to start off with my queen, right? One, Scarlet Witch. Is she, is she worth? <laughs> Hell yes. Okay, I use Scarlet Witch daily, depending on who the world boss is. I use her weekly for Shadowland, high levels, 80s, 90s, all that good stuff. I don't really use her in PvP, but overall, as a tier 3, was she worth the investment after all the hype died down? Because you know, you know what happens, right? It's future fight, baby. When they want you to build a character, they release a uniform, they release a hype trailer, they show you the skill, you know, like um, the advancement, animation, and all that, and that, that just gets you fired up, right? But after all that, after the dust settles, are these characters still worth? Let's talk, man. My baby shining. By the way, super worth. Absolutely love her. Okay, can't cannot say I regret it. Pietro, the hot dog eating savage. Is he still worth? Many people will tell you no, he's not. But in my opinion, Quicksilver is still one of the best speed characters in the game, and a character done not right. So yes, tier three for him, super worth. Okay, moving on. Dormammu is Dormammu worth it? very expensive tier 2 native now you gotta buy him from the shop if you want to get him whereas back in the day he was a hundred percent free I'm telling you man this game is taking a dark turn and i'm not talking about the dark dimension you feel me so is dormammu worth it after all the hype has died down to me yes I feel like the duality of somebody like Dormammu where you can use him for wall boss and you can use him for PvP for now until it becomes completely pay to win and then you have to shell out a bunch of money for reforging CTPs or reforging, sorry, craft combining your cards. But for now, or when you do all those investments of thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, right? Yeah, Dormammu's worth it. Odin super worth super worth one of the highest dps and characters in the game his pvp value is unfortunately not there but in terms of pve content he is stronger than dormammu so there's that it's really tough to say who you should build over the other if you just play world boss probably odin 
But if you play PvP and War Boss, it's a little tougher because Dormammu's reflect, revive, healing, iframe, if you want it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, probably Dormammu. <laughs> I'm just saying. Moving on. The Silver Savage himself. Is he a mistake? No, sir. You cannot go wrong with this guy. Look at him. Quarantine or not, he stayed diesel. Okay? <laughs> he stayed diesel. Look at this guy. Super Chad. Hyper Chad. Yes. Okay. After the hype dies down, when you unlock him, he is super worth. I feel like Silver Surfer is one of the very few characters in this game that is busted and rightfully so. Right. And I do like how you acquire the character. I wish they had done the same thing or something similar to um no. I hope I, I hope one day Null gets added to the game, but it is what it is. Um I do feel like um he was a very good investment for me. Thanos. Um time passed. Many characters got buffed around him, and the man that was once viewed as a god is kind of looking like a mortal. I'm just saying, like he's good. He's very good, but he's very, very good in comparison to like tier twos and maybe a few awakened characters. In terms of his duality, meaning he can do world boss and he can do PVP, that's good. But I feel like he's dropped off quite a lot and I don't even know if these days I would recommend building him until you have like, uh, I don't like, it's hard, man. He's not, he's not terrible. He's not garbage, but he's not as good as he used to be. So you probably shouldn't build him. I, this one is tough, man. It's, it's hit or miss. I'm happy with him, right? When I use him, like right now, he's on my PVP team. For the week, by the way, this is what I'm using, right? Because Silver Surfer is bad. But if Silver Surfer is not banned and Dormammu's not banned, guess what? Thanos gets replaced for PvP, and I don't use Thanos for anything else. So again, I'm keeping it real with you guys. After the hype dies down, a lot of these characters don't get much playtime. Apocalypse. Hear that long silence? It's been longer since I've used them. Again, maybe that's because I don't play ABX, right? Apocalypse is good for ABX now, right? He's back in the meta, sort of depending on the, 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 <laughs> the requirement. But ABX is not really that rewarding. The rewards are not that good. But he is required as a tier three, so is Thanos, to play null. And Apocalypse is required, I believe, at stage nine to get past the challenges without spending crystals. <sighs> it's a very sleazy thing to do, but they did it. They, they very much so did it. Apocalypse is a very good character. He's very, very powerful. He can do world boss at a very high level and he can also do PVP, but he's kind of the same as Thanos, only Thanos is universal, which means no weaknesses versus Apocalypse who's combat. So blast characters like Jean Grey can just body him, right? So yeah, another character that's kind of hit or miss after the hype died down, Jean Grey. Jean Grey is just Jean Grey. Jean Grey is just broken, okay? <laughs> so no hype, she's still broken on every PvP team. Was she done right? Maybe, she is broken in the comics. Anyways, moving on, Mr. Fantastic. I barely use this man. I barely use this man. I use him in Shadowland. That's it. <laughs> okay, Professor X. By the way, um, let me just say this. Um, Mr. Fantastic, he's very strong offensively. Okay, very strong. You can do like stage 99 and roll boss with him. If you apply enough defense down, he can just kind of one shot because his tier three hits really hard. He has double accumulation, but I'm just... I'm just sharing my opinion because someone asked me on Discord today, you're a content creator, right? So you build all these characters. Are they all truly worth it? Some of them are just not. Some of them are just realistically not. They're just hype beasts, right? To carry an update. And after you showcase them, they become Wolverine. No obelisk. You know why? Shadowland. Really, really sad. 
Next, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is very, very powerful. Okay, I use him pretty much anytime I need an energy character to clear wall boss. I use him anytime I want the Shadowland stage, even in the hundreds, to disappear in five seconds because he's just that good. I think he could also still do some work in PvP. Deadpool, best speed character in the game? Is that a cap? I don't know, maybe a little bit. Really, really good. I use him or her, depending on what you have. Well, you kind of need this to be like at the top, the upper echelon, but very, very good. Namor. Some people may say the king has fallen. Not in my eyes. Still super duper worth. Love my Namor. Highest or one of the highest burst damage characters in the game. He doesn't rely on any gimmicks. His kit just has really high damage. And damage will always, always be king. Right? I do hope that at some point he gets a heal in this kit because that's the only thing that he's lacking. If he gets a heal in this kit, he's right up there with Jean Grey. Probably the most busted combat character in the game if he gets a heal. He probably is the, the strongest combat character in the game. Sorry, Apocalypse. You kind of rely on my defense. Down, Namor relies on Namor. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Cyclops. Hype beast or worth? He's good. He's good. Cyclops hits hard, right? Cyclops can do his thing in GBR. He can do his thing a little bit in World Boss. But Cyclops is Cyclops. He's a leader and a support. Okay? Very good. Tier 3, right? He's not Wolverine. Like, he's not doo-doo. But <laughs> kind of a hype beast that I invested in and I don't really use much. Uh, now, Magneto. Hype beast or super worth? Worth. Super worth? Maybe. No healing this kit. Still sucks sometimes, but really, really high damage. He's good for like Danger Room. He's good for Giant Boss Raid, ABX, all that good stuff. He's okay for World Boss, right? He can hit high levels, but the modifiers just destroy his survivability. You have the Blade Twister, the Toxic Meteor, and all that stuff. It's really bad for him, but he's really, really, really strong. So, Hype Beast, but also worth, right? Not Wolverine. I think Wolverine is literally the only character here that, like, is not worth it. Maybe Mr. Fantastic a little bit, <laughs> right? Moving on, Professor X, Hype Beast or Super Worth? Um, I use him, but maybe I don't use him enough because I have judgment on him. He's very good, very, very strong. I've never really been disappointed with him in terms of damage or survival ability. But I don't really use him that much, and it might be because I have so many options available to me, so that might be it. But he's worth, definitely worth. Storm, Hype Beast or Super Worth? Now, I might be biased here, and I'm I'm honest. I'll be the second to admit it. Okay, maybe the first. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll admit when I'm biased, I love Storm. Storm has been one of my favorite mutants since I was a child, okay? So for me, I go out of my way to use a character like Storm when I can, just out of love for the character. Hype Beast or Super Worth? I'd say she's worth. I wouldn't say she's super worth just because she's kind of fragile, but the damage is really, really, really good. Okay. Now, Black Panther, Hype Beast or Super Worth? R.I.P. to the king. Moment of silence. Now we have to destroy this man. Black Panther, Netmarble, y'all need to fix the king, bro. He's literally one of, if not the worst tier threes in the game. He's sad. He's sad. And if I wasn't a content creator, I would not have him at tier three. Because I knew he was bad. Right? I knew he was bad before I tier threed him. But you as a fan because i love black panther again just like i like storm black panther is one of my favorite characters right so when you love something and you have the ability to invest in that something for example i loved i still love marvel future fight and because i had or at least well i still have the ability to invest in the game i chose to but now i'm pulling my investments out <laughs> okay anyways moving on don't invest in Black Panther. Long story short, he's terrible. Crescent. I was curious. 
I was Curious George, okay? A little girl with a panda bear, spirit animal, kind of reminds me of like Avatar, that last airbender, right? I seen, you know, Chirag, she's so beautiful, she lays it down, really good damage, Luna Snow came in, every version of her was good, just got better. Then there was Crescent. Trash. Trash. Black Panther, Crescent, Wolverine. So far, not worth. Avoid these characters like the plague. Now, we have Hulk. I'm still disappointed, by the way, that Hulk doesn't have accumulation. I'm going to speed this up because we're on like 15 minutes, okay? Hulk, super worth. To many people, Hulk is not worth just because he didn't get accumulation, which I can agree with. I can agree with you, right? He was supposed to have it. And because he doesn't have any defense down, so he can't push the high stages in War Boss, some people will look down on him for that. But how many characters, especially outside of Tier 2 natives, do you see in PvP that can hold their own? Not, that, not very many. There's War Boss characters, characters that can clear War Boss and War Boss Ultimate. There are a dime a dozen. How many characters, like, from this list do you see in PvP on a regular? And not just there to troll, but can actually get busy. Hulk. Hulk. Hulk is an outlier, right? So I gotta, I gotta respect that. And I gotta say, he's super worth because he's something different, right? Captain America. He's worth. He's worth. <laughs> I know. He took, he took them 10 different uniforms, but he's worth. Is he still like super worth first tier three you should get? I'll think about it, but he's, he's still worth investing in. Shirag, super worth, super worth. No debating, nothing need to discuss there, super worth. All right, Iron Man, I love you, Tony Three Stacks. I still think you're worth. I still think you're worth. Star Lord, I think he's worth. Really good damage, survivability is good. At Man, not worth. Garbage. So, so far, garbage, 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 garbage. <laughs> Ant-Man is, at least was, decent until they added this guy to the, well, they added this uniform for this guy to the game. Lord Colossus. Because before, Ant-Man had a chance to take down Jean Grey. And Jean Grey was basically the pinnacle of PvP. But then they added Apocalypse. Well, yeah, they added Apocalypse and then he crushed Ant-Man's dream because of the 50% ignore dodge. That's on this man's passive. So bye-bye Ant-Man. And then, well, I think even before that, they added Colossus to bump up um, Gene's survival ability. So Apocalypse is on every team now. And then he's in PvP. So it's not Gene Grey's world anymore. It's more like <laughs> Silver Surfers. So yeah. Not worth. I think she's worth though. I think she's super worth. Super worth. Garbage. Garbage. Even, yo, I use this guy even less than I use my Spider-Man. Because at least I use Spider-Man on floor 32 of Shadowland because he has spider sense. This guy, bro, I just put him on the team as a leadership and I have better leaderships. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just cause. Like he's so bad. He's actually so bad. They better give him a uniform for his um TV show or something, bro. Because he's so bad. By the way, Black Panther needs to come up to where Black Bolt is. Because Black Bolt is sitting at the top, shining, beasting. She kind of fell off still. She definitely kind of fell off. But she's still, she's still plenty good. Ghost Rider, though. Rocking that swag. He's good. Really, really good. Super worth. Thor. I don't think Thor Tier 3 is worth right now, but with Thor Love and Thunder coming, his future looks bright. Very much so bright. So it's not a bad idea to gear yourself up. I wouldn't say Tier 3 him now, but gear yourself up for when that movie drops because he's probably going to rise closer to the top than some of you guys may think. Then we have the... You know what? I'll leave the um, Transcendent and Awakened characters for another video because we're already pushing 20 minutes because your boy don't know how to shut up. I was literally just supposed to do like a smash and pass or worth or hype beast video and it turned into me talking for like 20 minutes, bro. Where does the time go? I just don't know, man. 
So comment down below and let me know if you guys like these kind of videos where I basically just come back and tell you guys how I feel about these characters after their updates and if I still use them after I made my like 50 videos about them, right? Because I'm not here to mislead anybody, right? When a character comes out, at that point in time, they may look really good. But then as the game progressed, they may not look so good anymore. So I just want to do this video to give you guys an update, let you know, are these characters still good? Do I still use them regularly? And if I was coming into the game now, would I still invest in them? Because maybe like my last Black Panther video or whatever was like four or five months ago. The game is in a different place than it was four or five months ago. So if you're watching that video and you're taking my opinion on Black Panther four or five months ago, you may think differently than I'm thinking right now. So that's why a video like this, I thought would be a cool idea. So if you guys want me to do this basically every three months or every two months or so, where I just come back and be like, are these characters still worth? Let me know. I'm more than happy to do it, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. If you guys want me to do the Awakened characters, there's a couple of them not looking so hot no more, to be honest with you, especially with the moon god out here shining, right? We could do that. Might be a shorter video though, because less characters and yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace.